Hey, so it's 2021 and today we are going to talk about something very very important that is stop binge watching motivational videos. Yes. If you're watching this one, you're doing the same thing again. You've been watching motivational videos for the past probably 5 or 10 years. You watch one video, then the next one auto plays and then you're watching another one and another one and another one and it just goes on and on and on like that and it might take forever for you to stop watching them and take an action so you want to act enough enough of motivation enough of motivation you might have already just sit and remind yourself close your eyes sit and remind yourself of all the motivational things that you've watched the gist of it the summary of it every single sentence that really really hit deep inside somewhere you know really you really felt that you needed that sentence and that really um like that really made you feel wow yeah that that's it that's what i'm missing that's what i should be doing stop watching motivational videos stop been watching them once a day yeah maybe two enough you already know enough you're probably in your in your middle age or maybe above that yeah if you're 15 14 15 16 i won't mind if you're watching that instead of playing games but if you're an adult with responsibilities with bills to pay with things to do you're wasting time watching motivational videos so stop binge watching motivational videos most of them are the same they're just trying to motivate you to get up on your feet and do something which you're not doing at all if you're just watching them over and over again so watch one video if you really want to watch it every day if you really want some motivation every day watch one video and then when the moment it stops get up on your feet and do whatever that is that you wanted to do you don't have to binge watch motivational videos every single day and most of us are doing that more than 80% of the people are just been watching motivational videos they're not taking action where does the taking action come from it comes from you you have to take action the person the speaker of the motivational video will not come out and take action instead of you in your place he's not going to take that action the doers just do the talkers like Yeah you're the, the only thing you're doing by watching those motivational videos is you're making somebody else successful. Yeah look at that the, the subscriber rate or the or the watch hours you're just increasing that for the guy who's made the motivation for you for you. You're not doing anything for yourself. You will do something for yourself when you will take action. And for that action you need to put that phone down or you need to put, switch that video off and you have to take action. So write down Yeah, this is a piece of motivation coming. So don't watch another motivational video after this one if you're watching this one today. Watch it tomorrow. You want to watch another one? Watch it tomorrow. Or watch it when you have the urge to play a game or to do something nonsense. If you want to fill that time with some motivational video, yeah, fine. At least it's better than that other nonsense thing you might be thinking of doing. But don't lose precious time over watching this motivational which is that are not that means they're not motivating you enough if you're just watching one after the other so take action it's time to take action take action when you watched one video jot down the things that you learned if you learned anything from it jot down prioritize things that you need to fix first focus on them first taking the first step is so important and the most difficult at times although when you've taken it you find out it was the most easiest that's what it is you keep procrastinating on taking the first step although when you've taken it when you've taken that first step you realize how stupid you've been it was the easiest thing to do so just take that step take that first step take it don't play Don't press that play button on another motivational video. I dare you. And I dare you to take a step. Jot down the things that you need to fix that you think you need to fix, not what other people think you need to fix. What you feel, you believe you need to fix. 
and then start working on them. Start working on the first one. Make a plan how you are going to fix it. Then keep working on it. When you feel that you're working on that one, little by little, little by little, and you don't need to take giant steps. You don't need to take giant leaps. Start taking baby steps. Baby steps is the key. When you plant a seed, it's a tiny seed. It's so tiny. No one imagines that there's a huge tree waiting to erupt out of it. So huge results come out of tiny seeds planted. Tiny steps taken. And start taking them every day. Whatever you need to achieve, whatever habits you need to change. And again, not what other people think you need to fix. First, prioritize what you feel you need to fix. Start working on it. It could be a habit. It could be a language you want to learn. You've wanted to learn for maybe 5-10 years. It could be a course you want to take and you've been procrastinating on it. Just take it. Just do it. It could be a closet that you want to fix. You will realize that when you start taking those baby steps, you will start adding up in a form of self-achievement and self-confidence. And it will keep adding on. It will keep adding on when you keep working on that. That list of things that you've made. But don't, don't dive into fixing all those problems at one time, at the same time. Take the first one. Take the most painful one. The one that disturbs you the most. Fix that first. If it is that you're unable to get up early in the morning, just start working on that. Once you've achieved that for a week, two weeks, three weeks, then start working on the second one. Alongside with it. It could be you you've want to you wanted to lose weight, you want to take up a diet plan, you want to change your lifestyle, eating habits, start slow. Cut down on say 50% of your um, portion size, then reduce it on a further half, half the half again. And similarly, you can take baby steps like that. So you don't have to take huge steps. You just need to take small steps. Remember that. And don't judge yourself over your failures. The key is to keep working on those things every single day. Every single day. You have to work on yourself. But you will be helping yourself immensely by stopping binge watching motivational videos and starting to take action so 2021 take action don't binge watch motivational videos you've had enough of them if you're an adult trust me you know enough you know enough start yeah what you can do is you start a self motivational journal write things down stop screen time stop binging on screens Get a journal, write your things down, make a planner. You don't have to buy a planner, make your own planner. Make your own planner. There was a time when there were no printers and people used to make things themselves. When you make your own planner, you remember things more. And when you're registering what you're planning in your mind, you're actually making an effort to think of things and you're writing them down. You're writing the date and the day and the lines you're making and the number of things that you're writing down over there. It's all, gonna, it's all part of the process of your improvement. It's all going to help and add up to that improvement that you want to achieve in yourself and your routine. Make a planner. Don't buy planners. Make your own planner. Make your own plan and work on it. And then reward yourself for it. Like my strategy is if I follow up on my diet plan, then on a weekend, I would have a chocolate or a cheesecake. So reward yourself.